Building muscle isn't about gym hours alone. It's about supplying your body at the right time with the right fuel. Studies show that muscle protein synthesis, it remains elevated from anywhere from three to five hours after resistance training. So yes, it, you know, this post-workout protein timing or protein matters, but it's not a race against the clock. Now I'm guessing most of you are already aware about the importance of sleep when it comes to building muscle. And this has a lot to do with, you know, reducing cortisol and increasing testosterone, as well as sleep is when growth hormones are released. So why does this happen? Your body doesn't just recover when you're awake. Sleep is when growth hormone peaks and deep tissue repair takes place. And so if you provide amino acids before bed, your body can build muscle even when you're sleeping. Basically, again, going back to our analogy, think of it like the construction site. So, you know, the lights are off, the city's asleep, but that crew is still hard at work. So instead of one giant protein bomb at dinner, and I've been guilty of this, especially when I was doing intermittent fasting, really we wanna aim for four to five meals per day, each with 20 to 40 grams of protein. So there's a myth I've encountered online, and you know, of note, I think it's positive because more and more people are recognizing um, how inaccurate this is. But basically it's this idea that you should cut carbs and fat if you're trying to build lean muscle. And it's not just wrong, it's counterproductive. Creatine is, it's basically like the, you know, premium fuel for your construction crew. So it's not going to build the house by itself, but it definitely helps to supercharge the workers.